What's good, planty peeps? My name is Lily, and this is Peace Lily Plants. Today, I want to repot a couple plants with you guys. I'm a little nervous about it, I guess, because with my disability, my hand-eye coordination is not very good. And as a result, repotting often gets messy, often takes forever. But I also think an experience has a role to play because I seem to get a little faster and a little less messy each time I do it. And sometimes I've gone on repotting binges where I would repot like 10 or 15 plants in one day. It would take hours. I would be mentally and physically exhausted by the end of it. But today I'm just gonna repot three so hopefully that's manageable enough that this video is gonna be interesting and not an hour long and sorry if you're bothered by the not so great lighting right now it's not dark as you can probably see from that window but it's dusk ish let me take you over to my repotting station it's really just my desk so for supplies i've got this bag of cacti Soil. And yes, I know, Miracle Grow is the devil. So sorry, I'm a basic biatch. I've also got a pot that's a mixture of the succulent cacti soil with normal Miracle Grow just to kind of give the soil a little bit of extra drainage, even when I'm not potting cacti and succulents. I'm wanting to move this into this really adorable pot that I just bought at the farmer's market. I'm hoping that the gray is gonna really pick up on the silver variegation. And also the soil is not so great, so it could use a refresh on the soil. And I forgot to say this, but that was a skin dapsis pictus arcturius. This is a string of turtles. This is a lipstick plant. I'm just gonna put these in some really, really tiny terracotta pots. Let's hope that string of turtles is easier to care for than string of pearls because I might accidentally kill it if it's not. So this is a spare empty box that I'm gonna do the, the cacti soil over. There you go. So, I'm gonna take a tiny little terracotta pot. Going to put this towel more on me because I really am like a kid when I start playing with dirt. I don't mean to be, but it's just a side effect of my disability. <laughs> a little handful out of here put some in here and try so hard not to make a huge mess this time I'm gonna pack the soil down but I'm trying to get better at striking a balance between packing the soil down and not compacting it too much because, you know, I'm kind of new to repotting, as I've already said, and at times I have packed the soil a little too tightly to where uh, when I water certain plants, the water just like sits on top of the soil for a second, then it drains down, and I'm thinking that maybe I took the whole pack the soil advice a little bit too too much to heart we'll get the string of turtles and I'm going to try to just very gently free it from its home I haven't watered it so that should make it pretty easy and yep so it was here's a little grow pot that it I'll probably put to use in other ways in the future. Okay, so stick this in here. I'm 
See, and this alludes to another mistake that I've been making in repotting. Sometimes I get the soil too high, then when I water, it just is draining off the side of the pot and it's a mess. So what I'm gonna do to not have that situation with this plant I'm going to take a little bit of this soil out that I just put in maybe I can use it to fill in the sides in a moment here so we got just a tiny little dab of soil now Again, trying to pack it, pack it well, but, but not too tightly. Now, let's see. Um, and a tool that I have that is down on the ground that I should have picked up before. Spoon. You probably won't need this if you're repotting things that are not really, really tiny, but it does come in handy with these really small repottings. So, Back to square one. Again, I'm not that good at repotting yet. This is the real tea that they don't give you on the other plant channels. The struggle can be real. Let's put this in here. Okay, I feel like that looks better. So now I'm just going to start taking the soil and trying to Fill it in on the sides here. Alright, I'm going to declare this to be good enough. So here's the tiny string of turtles in its new pot. On to the lipstick plant. Gonna fix my towel here. And pick up my mixture. <sighs> okay. Alright. Get this guy back. Okay. I think this one's gonna be way easier because uh, there aren't strings hanging off of it. So we'll make sure this is still mixed up really good. Probably just go with a little bit of soil if what happened with the first plant is any indication. Let's see how difficult this might be to get out. Well, I don't know why I said that. It should be easy. I'm still learning what to say in these unscripted kind of moments. Okay, that one's out of its grow pot. are not working that well right now. Okay, this one fell apart just slightly more, but no big deal. Now, one could certainly ask 
why am I even repotting these? Because plenty of people would just keep a plant that small in the grow pot for as long as possible. I mean, maybe even a year or more. But I have a thing about aesthetics and I just like always want everything to be in a cute pot. And yes, I know you can do it in a grow pot in a cash bow, meaning in a grow pot that's sitting in a pretty pot, but I don't know. For some reason, I just want my babies to be living in beautiful homes. So, here's that one. Feel like that went a lot faster. Now we're gonna get to the big boy. I mean, it's not really big, but compared to those. So what we're gonna do with this pot, which is terracotta by the way, all of these have been terracotta. Most plants like to be in terracotta. There are some plants like tropicals like Calathea and um, Raranta and Stromanthe that like a ceramic pot and um, plants that are really easy like pothos will pretty much take whatever you give them but um, a lot of plants will do the best in terracotta if you're not sure I go with terracotta but again the tropicals and oh yes begonias and probably Ferns also, what what all these have in common, that like ceramic, is that they like to be moist. Terracotta tends to wick away water, which is why most plants like it because root rot, aka the roots being too wet for too long, is the number one houseplant killer. I keep finding little roots and stems and things in here from past repottings, so this is perhaps not the most sanitary thing, but we're doing it, so whatevs. Gonna dump this in here, because if it's a plant where I know that the soil is not that great. I'll try not to mix that soil with uh, the miracle Grow soil to make sure it's all dumped out. Alright, come to mama. Okay, um, these kind of repottings where you can't just shake the grow pot make me a little more nervous because Sometimes the plant doesn't want to come out that easily. Um, I'm not trying to block your vision, but it's a little difficult. I'm gonna dump this out in a minute. Now that I'm seeing it, I'm kind of feeling like maybe I need to go ahead and put some more soil in there. I had kind of forgotten that this is the annoying thing about skin dapsis. <laughs> and maybe, I guess I'll put those are like this. Yeah, they are. I just haven't repotted very many pothos. I'll be honest with you guys, I hate repotting things like this where everything is a separate P 
piece in a separate route because it's really difficult to get it arranged well in the pot while repotting it. Or maybe it's not difficult for other people, but it's difficult for me. I don't know how people do this and, you know, just make the plant look so good. Like, I feel like it is going to look a little rough when I get done. But what I found with this is that if I repot a skindapsis or something, even if it looks a little bit questionable at first, it'll look good again once it starts growing. It's just initially, it'll be like all shoved around the pot in a weird way. That probably doesn't even make any sense. As I predicted, it's all looking kind of crazy right now. But I'm just gonna try holding down different spots and putting soil on that particular spot. And then maybe by the end, it'll all look really good. Let's hope, let's hope. When I recently repotted a Skindapsis exotica, I got a lot of the leaves like shoved down in the soil and I'm trying not to do that this time. It's kind of happening with a couple leaves, but again, I'm trying. Stay down, you stinking root. All right, let me just lift up all around the edges and make sure there's not some roots hooking out. All right guys, I think we're finished and I think she looks so much cuter in this new pot than in her old one. So let's hope she's gonna thrive in here. So that's it guys. I just wanted to share with you a repotting video. I just wanted to try it out and see if I could actually repot some things in a reasonable amount of time and if I could think of some things to say while I was reporting that would make it interesting. So if this video was entertaining and or helpful to you in any way, please like it, please subscribe to my channel, join me on my planty journey, and finally, wherever you are and whatever your circumstances, bloom where you were planted, honey. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>